My name is Terry Bennett. I live in Adelaide in Australia and I work at the University of Adelaide where I lecture in structural engineering. What was your first experience with STEM? The most obvious answer that I have is doing science at school, whether that was a junior school or high school. However, looking back, you realize that STEM is kind of all around us. I remember begging my mom to go on a train to visit my, my grandparents. And when I was at my grandparents, they lived close to the airport so we could see the airplanes coming in. I remember getting a television and with a video recorder. Yeah, a video recorder. You could, you could put this thing in and you could take television and watch it later, which sounds really dull and basic these days. You can stream stuff off the internet whenever you feel like it. But back then, being able to record the telly and fast forward the adverts, oh, it was amazing. I remember, I think it was 1984, the Christmas of 1984, we got our very first computer. And it was so exciting. We had to wait five to 10 minutes for a cassette to play the, comp the program into the computer. And then you would use a joystick to play the games if it was a car game or a, a flight game. The graphics were lousy, but we loved it. What did you study at university? I studied civil and structural engineering at the University of Sheffield. I also have a PhD in computational mechanics. That's the science of how we simulate structures and materials using computers. I also have a postgraduate qualification in education at university level. Why did you choose to study what you did at university? I chose to do engineering at university as I wanted a degree that would lead to a job afterwards. I didn't have particularly good careers advice at school. We were almost expected just to go and get a job at the local car factory. And I didn't know what jobs are available out there. What do you do if you do a degree in physics? What do you do if you do a degree in economics? No idea what jobs those lead to. But I could see if I went to do civil engineering or civil and structural engineering, that that would lead to a job working, you know, doing the design calculations to make sure that the forces or the stresses in buildings and the elements of a building, like we have here, the roof behind me, how to make sure that it didn't break. I could see a job there. What does a typical day at work look like for you? When I'm giving a lecture or I'm giving a workshop, what I like to do when I first get in, I sit with a cup of coffee, a pen and paper, and I will stare at my notes about the concepts that I'm about to teach. I'll then get a pen, paper and calculator out, and I will work through any calculations that I want to demonstrate in front of the audience and other calculations that I want the students to work through. And so I know where there are any little tricky bits where I might get stuck and make mistakes or where I would expect, expect some students to get stuck and make mistakes. And so but I'm very clear when I explain how to get from one step to another in those tricky situations. The other thing that I like to do is think through ways that I can explain concepts visually. One of the things my students remember me for is using pieces of plastic, bits of paper to explain how under loading conditions, beams or columns will bend and using very visual ideas to get these concepts across. What is your favorite thing about what you do for work? In my research career, I get a buzz out of learning new concepts and figuring out ways how I can apply those concepts to practical problems. In my role as an educator, I enjoy watching students develop from high school students to young professionals. What I really enjoy is in the classroom when I see students and they have this look on their face that they're going to kill me. It's like, how dare you make me concentrate? How dare you confuse me, Terry? And then a few moments later, might be five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe even two lectures away, but I get this glint in the eye and they look at me, it's only for milliseconds. And it, all of that hatred from two lectures ago or 10 minutes ago goes out because the idea has clicked. And I love that moment. Music